the Barney Ray Quartet. Hi. We're from Cornwall. We're a live hip hop drum and bass band. We started this band about four years ago. Current lineup's been together about a year. We've been performing through festivals all summer. Since performing on the BBC Blast programme on the beach in Cornwall, we've signed our first record deal and are now concentrating on recording our first album. About a year ago, I got a job working in a recording studio in Redruth, and part of the deal was that we get to use it for free. We tend to work really long hours in there, doing sessions till 10 in the morning, and uh, I think that's when we work best. We all got really different musical backgrounds, and uh, I think that's probably the best thing about us. I came from more of a rock background originally. I did jazz at university, but I love my sort of hip-hop and drum and bass. Crazy computer game music has always been an influence for me, I think. <laughs> Mainly hip-hop, I've been DJing it for quite a long time. Michael Jackson has been quite a large influence on my singing, I think. This is the studio where I work. Over here is the vocal booth, and down here we've got the, the sampler and the laptop gear, which connects all the electronic instruments in the band, and that's my job. And then around here we've got all the keyboards um, and then the acoustic drum kit with also electronic drum pads which are controlled by the sampler. We've got different groups of drums which we can cycle through whilst Barnaby's playing. For some of the tracks we've taken some old funk drum breaks, chopped them up, EQ'd them and made them all fat and stuff. Also on this track, there's a pad which cycles between different tom drums to give a kind of a roll effect. This software is uh, Max MSP, which I use to control MIDI signals from the keyboards and the electronic drums. And that gets mashed up in here with the controls and then routed out to the sampler down here, which is where most of the electronic sound you're hearing is actually coming from. Cool. First few tracks of the album are nearly finished and uh, we're getting some vinyl pressed up in a couple of weeks. For our album artwork and our merchandising, I've put the idea to our record label that um, we involve the students in Falmouth. So we're running a competition at the moment where the uh, students send in designs for artwork and for sort of our t-shirts and any other merchandising that we're gonna sell. And then the winner gets all their designs printed up and they get to have you know, the mass produced uh, products. When we're writing a track, it usually starts off, someone brings an idea to the studio or the rehearsal space and then each person like puts their own style and their own influences into the track. One, two, three, four. We usually lay down the drums first, but we quite often record the keys as well to build a guide track. <laughs> Sweet. When we're recording in the studio, we're trying to get a, a balance between the energy that we're putting into our live performance and something that's going to just sound good on CD listening at home. And we also want it to be cool for DJs to play, so it's got to be sort of precisely laid out and a good sync at the start and end with plenty of space for the DJ to mix in and out. This is the bass room. We've padded out all the walls with old clothes and things so that it's got a really nice sound uh, for recording percussion and other instruments just like bass. Drums and the bass are like very much linked together and generally need to be played together to get the right kind of vibe. But because of the kind of music we're playing, we're finding that some of the tracks, it's better to record the drums and then record the bass and then lay the other instruments on top. It's quite a different style. There's not that many bands around that incorporate electronic music and live acoustic instruments so well. We've got samples and different drum hits and you know all sorts of craziness, which you just don't tend to get very often. It's nice to be involved with something which was just a bit different, quite original, I think. All right. <coughs> I mean, all right. Wicked, cool, I'm coming out. This is the control room where we do all the mixing. Um, kind of starts with the patch bay, which is where all the mics from every other room come through here and then you can wire it into the desk. So you can send any mic from any room into here. And then that goes directly onto the computer, which is how we record everything. It all looks kind of confusing to someone who doesn't know it, um, but it's actually quite simple because every single strip of channels is exactly the same all the way along. This is the electronic kit we used, um, and we actually spent a bit of time last night editing it. Um, you can see all the cut marks on the screen here, um, where we kind of split up the drum takes and um, moved all the hits around so that they're exactly on the beat. For the actual live drum kit, we've just left it pretty much how it, how it was. Um, 
kind of keep the live feel. When we've got the uh, drums and the bass down, often we'll stick whatever parts myself and Roger have and percussion, so that sort of fills up the rest of the, uh, the track. And then it's got a decent enough basis for the vocalist to be able to put their parts on with lots of conviction if they've got the full band behind them and it's sounding good. We've got this synth here that I get to play lots of sounds off and all this plethora of different keyboards around me, but this one is uh, quite interesting because the sounds come off the sampler via MIDI onto this keyboard and then I can be playing my sounds while Roger, the sound designer and other keyboard player, gets to kind of manipulate them live. We've got a track where we've got a load of violin and viola players and they come in, record their parts and then um, we use them on the recordings but we also then sample them. It can sound like I'm playing like a 32 piece string ensemble rather than just a kind of rubbish synth sound. One of the things I find really exciting about being in this band is I come from a bit of a jazz background, so I love improvisation. And Roger, he's uh, come from sort of a, a sound designing background and music tech, so he got, does the same sort of thing but with sound and I do mine with harmony, so he can really make mad noises out of what I can play. After we put down all, all the synth drums and bass parts, we started on the vocals. We started with Beth's voice. Something stuck they always say. They come and see me slip away. Working in the studio is quite a lot different to on stage because when you've got a massive crowd in front of you, it's so much easier to really go for it. I can actually hear myself for once. On stage, it's quite loud and uh, I'm leaping around a lot. Before the mastering is done, you can keep coming back to it and adding harmonies which really make a song for me because I'm very into my backing vocals. I think it makes a good thick texture. Me and Andy sort of work together. We'll both come up with a theme for each song and then write all the lyrics sort of, not together, but so we bounce off each other, hopefully. It's just my passion coming through. Issues on my mind, they play again and again. It's nice. sounded really nice. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we added in Andy's vocals as well. Yeah. So mischievous, oh, pleasing MC, leaving a crowd in the sea, every last meaning this word that I speak. It's such a benefit, yourself. especially reffing wise to be in the studio. We've got the free time to have late night sessions and like, proper, properly go for it and try and recreate what we do on stage. There's not that many hip hop and drum based bands. They've got the big producers like Ronnie Size, all those sort of guys, and they've got like their their MC and the music's quite separate. We try and incorporate it all the time, like writing constantly together. Wicked man, that was all good. Nice. Wicked. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the, the male vocal on its own. Um, and then we start to bring in everything else over the top. And then a bit of drums. A bit of bass. And then all the synth parts. Yeah. 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 I really hope that everybody that listens to our music can just buzz off it. You're holding me back. Seeing people enjoying it when we're playing live is wicked. And if we can keep surprising them, keep getting them going mad, then that's spot on. I think part of the reason we've managed to get to the small stage we've got to is by creating our own luck and not just sitting around waiting. We live in the very edge of, of England in Cornwall where there's, it's you know, considered very quiet and nothing going on, but still we've managed to do all the things we have and we really enjoy it. We've managed to go around the Alps and uh, it's already booked to go again next year. We've got signed, yeah, and things really good. Nice one. Lovely. <laughs>